In this video, we are going to have a look at the new Mini Cooper JCW Refresh, the 2022 model. So join with us as we unveil this wonderful car and uh, we'll walk around it, start it up, and I'll show you some of my favorite features. If you have not yet, please make sure that you give a thumbs up and subscribe as it helps out the channel more than you can imagine. But most of all, enjoy the video. My name is Ethan and welcome to Car Creations. So today you find me at Mini Richmond. So please bear with me as we are currently at a very busy dealership. So you do hear quite a bit of background noise. However, uh, just focus on the car because it's absolutely amazing. So let's go around and have a look at the front end first. So the front end, we have this brand new facelifted grille, which is, it kind of reminds me a bit of the Mini GP. This looks amazing. In pictures, I was kind of unsure because it does look like a mustache, but you can't actually really tell in person. And the black really does blend in with the actual grill itself. We have these little um, sticking out pieces up here that is exactly like what the GP has. Uh, then you have these huge big intakes for the air. On the front we have two intakes on either side, so four all together. So we have so smaller slits on the outside and then bigger um, intakes on the inside. Um, on the left side the actual smaller intake um, or the smaller slit doesn't actually go anywhere and it's actually a fake vent. On, on the right side, it goes to a cooler or radiator of some sort. Now the two big intakes in the middle end up going into the car and is what the car uses to suck air into the engine. Now, if you don't like fake grills, this might cause a little bit of pain for you, but uh, this is fake grill right here. But the rest of it is real. So it's just a part of the grill's fake grill and that's basically where you put your license plate on. So I'm thinking about it, putting a license plate on might wreck the front of this. Which is quite similar to the new M3 and M4, which you see a huge vent with real top and bottom, but fake in the middle. However, it would be nice to see a slightly different way of going about it. So we were told that the front of the car actually might change slightly as this car is a pre-production model. So do bear that in mind as we take a look around the car. One of the themes that we keep finding with this car is how much they've blacked out trim. So once again, this is blacked out. You have the nice blacked out badges, you have blacked out front headlights, um, surrounds. You actually have blacked out headlights themselves. And then all the way along the sides, you have nice black mirror caps. You have the new Union Jack taillights are now blacked out a bit as well as you can now option the front headlights to have blacked out chrome on the inside instead of the normal chrome that we had before. The one unfortunate thing is, is that the only piece of chrome that isn't blacked out is the belt line, which I know because I have a Patty Hopkirk car here that you can get black, uh, blacked out trim from the factory, but for some reason they have not fitted this car with a blacked out trim. If you notice, they don't have any more fog lights and that's because they use the cornering lights now for fog lights. What I'd be interested in doing is putting on some front rally lights because minis are known for the front rally lights and they weren't necessarily made for the current F series, but I do think they'd actually kind of look good on this car. So I hope to see that in the future. Another thing that I love about this car and sets it aside from a lot of other cars on the road, it's this huge front splitter that goes all the way around the car. So previous JCWs, like the one I have, only have splitters on the side, um, whereas this car actually has a large one, kind of like you would see in, my, in a Clubman or just a normal Cooper, that wraps all the way around the front like a big apron. And it looks super aggressive and, um, and then as you go around they morph into the wheel arches in a really nice way. A lot of this refresh is a bit Marmite, as some people say they hate it, some people say they love it. Um, I'm more on the love it side of things. Now if we go up to where the actual grill is, it actually looks really good in person. It looks a lot smaller and it's not in your face as it looks like in some of the press pictures. And then if you move to the side of the car, we have these new JCW side scuttles. But once again, we have that same fake vent material here. Rumor has it, you can retrofit the old style side scuttles onto the new ones. The one nice thing about these new side scuttles is that they now have an LED strip there instead of just a bulb there. All right, so now let's go around to the back as we have some amazing new changes, probably one of my favorite changes. So we have here a brand new diffuser. It's super hard in pictures because uh, lenses do distort things a little bit and it looks, I don't know, sometimes out of place. 
but in person it looks beefy and amazing and probably actually better than the GP. This diffuser looks super aggressive and consists of two different materials. So down below you have a glossy piano black material where we have these big fins that kind of go underneath the car and then around that the trim that goes around that is this uh, is the same type of trim that they have for the wheel fenders as well as a little bit on the front bumper and it's kind of a more of a, uh, a matte finish. My favorite thing about the back is the rear brake light right here. It kind of looks like the rain light in Formula One and this will light up when you put the brakes on. So that's super cool. And I believe that this will be either the brake light or the rear fog lights for these new minis. I didn't have time to test it out so I'm not sure which one it is. One of the things I do love is these little piece of the diffuser on the edges it looks amazing I, yeah it's the little touches like that which makes it so cool and it kind of melts the whole diffuser into the trim on the side all right let's go take a look at the inside as some of the biggest changes on this car actually take place in here so first of all coming inside you have the brand new steering wheel it's actually a lot thicker and then we have these new gloss buttons on here which I was a little bit worried about, but they're actually just as easy to press as the old model. The best thing is that it's now heated, which here in Canada, when we have snow all around us, actually not really as much right now, but normally when we have snow around us in the winter time, it's super nice to have a heated steering wheel when you start driving in the morning instead of this freezing cold steering wheel and your hands are shaking, you're trying to drive and you get all sorts of trouble. That's why most people go off the road because they can't hold on the steering wheel. For the automatics, they now have the electronic parking brake, which is a little bit unfortunate because even with the automatics, you can get some pretty cool handbrake turns, but I guess that's the way the world's heading, isn't it? Uh, with the standard Mini Coopers, they still do have the handbrake here. One of the cool features of this interior is they now have the, uh, the mood lighting. Um, they have a bar that sticks out around the door panels as well as um, the front dashboard. And then around the circle around the screen, they have changed the from a tachometer looking thing to a bunch of, I guess a modern take on a tachometer. It does look super cool and it actually kind of gives you more of immersive feeling in the car. So now we come to the brand new entertainment system. So uh, if you have a look here, we have this, this new gloss bezel that's actually flush right to the screen. Which is actually super cool. It makes the screen look a lot bigger. And then we have the new, uh, the new rev uh, counter around it, which I believe it still does some of the same functions, but they just made it look a little bit more modern as opposed to just a rev counter. Because I guess there's a lot of electric minis these days and they don't need to have a rev counter. Let's take a look at this entertainment system a little bit more. And they have now upgraded it to kind of look more like you would see in the BMW with this widget style interface, which you can slide over and you can see all your car's functions right there in front of you on the screen. You can change this background now from this grayish, darkish grayish color for JCW or a bluish color for Coopers. Yeah, so other than that, most of the function is exactly the same. You have full screen Apple CarPlay now, you have Mini Connected like you had before, and it's just just slightly different look here. And that's all for the interior. Every, other than that, everything else is pretty much the same as other F-Series. The power is exactly the same as the previous uh, Minis, so there shouldn't be anything different under here, but we just want to take a peek. Just the same uh, horsepower and torque as my JCW or any other JCW. Okay, so if you come over here, you notice that you know some screws that come around here that connect the front bumper in. Now, I wonder if I could retrofit this to my car. Leave in the comments if you think I should try to find one of these bumpers and put it on my JCW. Should I facelift my car? A 2019-2022 facelift JCW? <laughs> now, the moment you've all been waiting for, let's start this thing up and see what it sounds like. It probably won't sound any different than a normal JCW, and in fact, it might sound quieter than my JCW because I have the Pro Exhaust, but it still should sound okay. I'm just going to give you a few seconds just to hear the sound of it. I was a little bit wary that uh, it wouldn't sound as good as the older JCWs because at least in Europe they have tons of emissions and it looks like they haven't carried the emissions over to North America. So 
I'll probably be able to throw a JCW Pro Exhaust on this beast and it would be just as fun as any other JCW that you've ever been in. So I should turn it off before we uh, kill us all with carbon dioxide poisoning. All right, we're gonna conclude with uh, a final look at the rear of the car, which is probably my favorite piece of the uh, facelift. And uh, that's obviously the rear diffuser. So uh, leave in the comments if you think I should upgrade my diffuser to this or just leave it the way it is. Hope you all enjoyed. If you comments or questions, leave it in the comments below and we try to help out as much as possible. And uh, most of all, please continue to like the video and subscribe as we have plenty more awesome content like this to come in the future. All right, yeah. we'll see you on the next video. In this, no, I hate, why do I do this? In this video. <laughs>